a focus on the small things in life. This is what happiness is all about and things like that, man. Like, skip it. I need a career. I'm Lisa Biedlingmeier. I am a visual artist. I grew up in Georgia, former Soviet Union. I moved when I was 13 with my family to Stuttgart, Germany. And later I went to Zurich, uh, Switzerland to study photography. I'm still in this wonderful city I like very much. At one point, I think like five years ago, I started also to bring my spirituality and my art together. <laughs> to change the focus on what I want to see in this world somehow. So how do I want to inspire people in a way? It's not so easy because people are much more also focused or like more interested even like which are questioning something or are critical and so on. I think we have very much like also in the rational world we have this focus on the negative very much. So if it's positive it's kind of it's good that it's positive but like okay let's focus again on the negative you know because there we have things to change and so on like you know. But I think like we really can make a shift if we are kind of shift the focus. I once um, made this artwork and I called it I am healer. I, I guess there was then the question like what, who is meant by that? Like is it like the object which I made or is it maybe the recipient who is standing in front? And for me it was engagement, every uh, relationship every situation has a potential somehow to make something clear for you or like to make an experience in a way. So that's why I think like spirituality happens somehow in a way itself. Of course the question is how conscious you are about it or not. That we are sometimes understanding very clear something in a certain situation but then we are kind of turning around to the next one and there's again a big question mark. So it's like very often we cannot connect the things and cannot understand like the way I treat maybe a plant also tells something about the way I treat myself, for example. I mean, to understand this, you don't need spirituality in a way. You need a bit of <laughs> being awake somehow or being curious or... And yeah, as I say, like in every conversation, a healing or like a spiritual encounter can happen in a way. This is so funny because, I mean, we have all those kind of wise sentences, phrases, like, you know, and they are all around somehow, like a focus on the small things in life, for example, right? So um, this is what happiness is all about and things like that, man, like, skip it, I need a career. And uh, at one point you realize, like, oh, <laughs> the small, I don't know, plant. <laughs> It really kind of, it makes me happy because it, it grows and it, I don't know, develops, things like that, like, you know. So to realize that those sentences are really in a way, they have this wisdom. And, but of course, I mean, it stays a sentence uh, till the moment you make the experience. And you have to do this experience in your own time, I would say. Right uh, after the school, I went to Thailand for six months, the backpack alone on my own, and I met this Swiss guy who was already doing Zen meditation for many years. And I actually wanted to go to a monastery because I knew there are those monasteries where you can stay for 10 days and doing vipassana, which means like you are staying um, silent for this period of time. For me, it was trying also to find a way how to overcome my anxieties, also how to have more self-esteem, basically. Yeah, I think this is how my journey started. And later I came to Kundalini Yoga just because a friend of mine was um, teaching it. And I joined once and realized, um, yeah, how good I feel actually after that. Then I kind of realized, okay, I, it's my own path. That means also I can 
choose what suits me or not and I don't have to stick kind of to one belief or one stream would you say like yeah so then I started kind of to look up in different ways somehow and I, at one point I also realized that in the end they are speaking all about the same in a way so it's kind of different co concepts but the essence is actually the same It really saved me somehow, I would say. I mean, I guess many people are coming to spirituality also because they are not finding, not even answers, but also ways how to deal with life. And that's, uh, I guess, also was, uh, I was trying at that time to get pregnant and it was not working in any way. So I started to look for other options. And of course, then you have always people around you who recommend this or that. And then I went to this woman, I remember, and she was doing with me like a family constellation. It also made me sometimes angry because it really um, yeah, had this very different ideas of the world. And I realized if I continue this path, that means also yeah, letting go of kind of old beliefs and things like that. And also kind of making up the space for miracles if you want so, or at least other energies. And I think meditation gave me the possibility to rest like this critical mind inside of me. You know, there's this saying, you are not a human having a spiritual experience, but you are a spirit who has a human experience. So this means you are actually choosing what kind of experience you want to have. So maybe it's also your soul somehow or your spirit deciding on being not aware in this life and going through this kind of experience you know from this point of view if you want so it's always spiritual in a way I guess also my definition of success shifted through the years and which is I think very normal somehow like you know if you are young you have kind of uh, you're exploring the world around you somehow, try to understand this. Of course, also being involved in this artist scene where it's all about being seen, having exhibitions, being successful in a way, right? So that was, I think, uh, kind of so-called normal success. For me, now it's kind of the, in a way, the fulfillment. So it's, if you want so abundance on many different levels, it's being able to, for example, to connect to develop this connection through, I have now Artist Collective, for example, which is also very important for me. So it's not only like my individual approach or way, like my, my art, but also kind of, okay, in which way can I work with other people? So it's also success on a personal level, in relationships and being joyful. Like, I guess like this is also something we sometimes have to learn in a way, right? I also realized that the connection to the nature, I lost it somewhere on the way. So also going back again there and starting to appreciate somehow like the different plants and things like that is like, I don't know, it's something new for me because it makes me in a way happy, you know, to see plants, maybe even to know what their properties and so on. I kind of learned there are no wrong path. Very often also in our society where we try to improve ourselves somehow to then being more successful or whatever. Like, you know, if this is your goal, then you are kind of maybe on the spiritual path somehow, but maybe with the wrong intention even. Sometimes you kind of need this the, to go first on the wrong to understand what's right. Mm -hmm. And maybe there are no I would really say this is some, something what uh, also I kind of learned there are no wrong path so and there are no wrong decisions so kind of if you make a decision you have at least a, a very good experience in a way that it's your own experience and then from there you can continue differently or whatever and from there things gonna change around you and this is kind of for me this miracle somehow um, because I think this part people don't really believe in 